As we all know, the rules of high school football clearly state how a player is to be legally and properly equipped for a game. 1-5 lists all the player equipment that is mandatory along with a list of legal auxiliary equipment that may be worn if sanctioned by the umpire. Rule 1 goes on to list illegal equipment, including illegal adornments. A change for 2023 season involves the elimination of the previous requirement that all towels worn by members of the same team must be the same color. Now towels can be different colors. It is important that an individual official and the entire crew have a thorough understanding of Rule 1 and all player equipment requirements. We continue to experience players and even teams who attempt to participate with their uniforms and or adornment grossly out of compliance with Rule 1. Especially troublesome these days are the players wearing their pants in a manner where the pants are not covering the knees, eye shade that is more than the allowable one stroke under each eye, wristbands or bicep bands being worn at the elbow or on the leg, jerseys that aren't tucked and extending well below the waist of the pants, or are so short that they don't reach the top of the pants, thus exposing the midriff, an undershirt that may be a different color and also extending well below the waist of the pants, back pads that are not fully covered, and required pads or mouthpieces that are completely missing. Past experience has shown that when we had a five-yard penalty for these infractions, our officials were reluctant to enforce the rule and penalize the player and team. As a result, in 2018, the NFHS eliminated the penalty and implemented an official's timeout instead. All an official was required to do was to call an official's timeout, which required the player to be replaced for at least one down, unless it was halftime or an overtime intermission. Now, we are reserved observing that our officials are demonstrating reluctance to even enforce this reasonable response to a potentially unsafe situation. We understand that we need to focus on the other nine rules of the game of football, but we are not eligible to just disregard a rule, especially one aimed at player safety. In order to keep this issue from becoming an unnecessary source of conflict between the officials and the head coaches, We'd like to share a procedure that has proven successful in the vast majority of games where it has been fully implemented. We believe the consistent use of this procedure across the state of California will help players and coaches to take responsibility for the compliance of Rule 1. Step 1. Prior to the game, during the warm-up period, each flank official will use a card and note on the card the number of any and all players who are not legally equipped or now wearing legal equipment in an illegal manner. We will be sharing the template of a card that can be used for this purpose. You'll find that card in the comments below. Step two, each flank official will hand their completed card to the umpire on their crew. Step three, the referee and the umpire will present the completed card to each head coach, which will serve as a warning. The referee and umpire will acknowledge that the players may be illegally equipped during the pregame warm-ups, but the card indicates those who will need to make their uniforms legal prior to the start of the game. Step 4. All officials quickly scan the teams as they return to the field prior to kickoff to note any that still have an issue. There's no problem if the officials wish to remind players to fix equipment prior to game time, but once the game has started, warning players, rather than sending them off for a play, has proven not to be effective and only leads to the officials ignoring violations. Step 5. Maybe the most important step. Send out the first players who attempt to participate with knees not covered, face paint, etc. Do this for the first few series for each team. I promise you, if you do these steps, 
you can now relax as the teams and players will have addressed the problems and now we can play football. P.S. There will, from time to time, be a player who comes to your attention later in the game, but it will be an exception and you are not even looking for it at that time. It'll just jump out at you. Simply send them off. No big deal. We are doing very well with the issue of legal equipment, but let's work together throughout the state and keep high school football safe and legal. Hey, don't hit that stop or close button just yet. I found out in just the last few days that out of the 2,000 subscribers I have on this channel, only about 176 of them are getting notified when new videos are released. If you want to get notified, please, even if you're already subscribed, go to my channel, which you can do easily by clicking on my name, Mark Andrews, just below this video. Make sure you are logged into the Google account that you subscribe to this channel under. Click on the subscribe button and then choose all. Please share this link with others in your association, especially the instructional chairman, and let them know that they are free to use the content in any way they see fit. We'll have some great video this year, and I'm going to try to keep all videos to 10 minutes or less. This is Mark Andrews, signing off.